All right, what's going on, everybody? Doing a little bit of drawing and talking today. Um, you can probably tell by looking at the screen that I'm reworking earlier environments that I've already done. I've said it before, I started doing pages for my comic, but I've been experimenting with different styles as I work on it, trying to just sort of pinpoint how I really want everything to look. And I wasn't satisfied with how I was drawing my comic at first. So what I actually decided to do was more or less what I had been doing as far as my art style was concerned with Infinite Uppercut. I'm just not drawing like chibi like characters. I also wanted to clean up the backgrounds and the environments a little bit more. There was two trains of thought for this. One, the environments, while they were vibrant and colorful, they could have been cleaner. And I also felt like I overcomplicated aspects of my environment. So I wanted to make them and I'm working outside if you can hear a bunch of crap like cars and stuff in the background. But um, I wanted to make this a little bit like cleaner. For the record, it's also hard to see in sunlight. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I guess I'm out of the house. <laughs> in any event though, the environment itself is cleaner or at least what I wanted to do, I wanted to make it cleaner and simpler while being easily like able to be read just trying to find a way to simplify my art style with as much detail as humanly possible. I think I found a nice little happy medium between the two, at least for myself. I had to look up and study different types of art styles that I was a fan of to sort of get an idea on how I wanted to pull this off. I think I'm headed in the right direction. Over time, it'll start to flesh itself out a little bit more, but it's a decent enough starting point. The reason why I'm even talking about this right now is I want to illustrate how important it is to give yourself time when starting a new comic before wanting to just jump right out there and show whatever it is that you're working on or like getting your comic in front of people. Like, don't rush your comic itself. Take your time because there may be experimenting that you want to do with the art styles, maybe the way the character looks or anything like that. You want to give yourself time to get a handle on how you want your comic to look, how you want it to feel, little things that you might want to do going forward. Yeah, just taking it slow with your comic, not too slow. Not saying like, take like two years to get started on like page one of your comic. I'm not saying that, even though I've done that extreme in the past for a different set of circumstances, but just not, feeling compelled that I have to hurry up and just get this done and put it out in front of people. Like give yourself a nice little deadline to get your stuff accomplished, but make sure you have enough time to sort of experiment, see what works and see what doesn't work as I've had to do now. Um, also, this is kind of forcing me to get used to painting certain aspects of my environments in Clip Studio Paint instead of using Photoshop as a clutch, like the back and forth in between the two. For a while, I'm gonna have to do that simply because I'm learning how to use Clip Studio Paint right now. So there's gonna be a lot of back and forth going on to begin with as I get like accustomed to using new tools and whatnot. And I'm pretty sure that Clip Studio Paint can do all the things Photoshop can do. I just need to figure out how to make those things happen. But until I do, there's going to be a little bit of back and forth between that and Photoshop, but I wanna get as much done as humanly possible in Clip Studio Paint just to save myself some valuable time. But until I get to that point, I kinda in this position where I'm doing my line art and the majority of the artwork that I can in uh, Clip Studio, and then doing the rest of my comic and little filters or effects and whatnot in Photoshop. So yeah, this is all one big giant experimental phase in the beginning as I start working on the pages of my comic. I've even experimented with doing it in a manga sort of template rather than doing it in a normal comic book template. So I'm working on pages at five by seven as opposed to doing it at the normal. I think I was doing it at seven by 10 for Infinite Uppercut, which probably my art style would have lended itself more to being drawn in a smaller format and live and you learn, I guess. But uh, I will say drawing it in manga form, this is gonna sound crazy, but drawing smaller allows me to get more clean detail in than drawing larger. I don't know why I'm able to draw smaller better than I am to draw larger pictures. I'm not sure why, because you have more space. 
I don't know why I'm able to, in my mind, visualize a lot more smaller than I am visualizing as much detail as possible in a larger space. I don't, I don't know if that's my mind or how I see things or what's going on there, but whatever the reason is, drawing at five by seven is working out a lot better for me. Or is that seven by five? I'm not sure. Whatever. I don't know. I'm really getting excited working on this comic now. Also, I recently did a bit of character art for a character in my comic or a new character in my comic. I should be showing that on the screen now. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a breakdown on that piece, if you're interested. In any event, um, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And you all have a good one. And I'm out.